Hello, and welcome back to Let's Try. I'm going to say Let's Try, um, but this is going to be a little bit of a weird one. First of all, I've already put a little bit of time into this game. Um, I generally do a blind playthroughs or blind um, kind of like let's let's look at kind of at, at, uh, for games, but this is a, an exception. Uh, this is one of those games I've been playing in my off time. This is also not a very new game. Uh, I think it's a couple years old now. And I think it got kind of overlooked. Maybe it found its audience, but um, it's a it's a very odd game, and I am enjoying it. And I wanted to do a video on it because I I think that it deserves uh, a bit more uh, attention. I I don't see why not. Anyway, it's a good game, and I'm enjoying it. And maybe you haven't seen it before. So this is Grime. Uh, I would describe it as a Metroidvania, but it's um it doesn't really feel like it does feel like a Metroidvania. It does. But it's uh, it's got some quirks to it that make it feel more like a kind of Souls-like game than anything else. Um, all right, so we're gonna go. I'm I'm currently on a path to go and destroy a beast uh, in exchange for this person or this like large kind of god-like creature um, to. Uh, you know help me along my path to going to a palace it's uh the story like i won't it doesn't really do the dark souls thing of being like strange and abstract and like you have to dig into things to really find out the lore it like it doesn't really do that necessarily um a lot of things are pretty transparent and i actually appreciate that sorry i'm gonna continuously i'm trying to get the map but the map doesn't seem to be coming up and I'm not sure why. Um, you know, characters talk to you. You know, I, I know they talk to you in... Um, we can't go down there. That's the elevator. Characters talk to you in a, in a fairly normal fashion. And they pretty much, like, directly tell you what's going on. Uh, you're like a carved one. You're, you're different from a lot of other creatures. Everything else is kind of like... Um, I wouldn't say they're they're you know they're simplistic they're almost more abstract they're they're normal in that they're just like a block of stone and you're the strange one because you're uh you know almost human-like in nature so you've got some extra things going on and does that put you on some kind of path destiny thing yeah a little bit but um it's it's strange you're also like this kind of black hole and you interact with stone in a in a like an a like you're kind of like absorbing it. We'll get into that a little bit. It has a mechanical purpose, and it also it's just a it's almost like an interesting lore thing. So we've got. I feel like it it feels very souls in in uh, nature. Hold on, I'm I'm really struggling here because I'm I'm using a new weapon that I'm not used to. Dang, I'm taking some nasty damage here. So we've got a counter system. This is one of the first games I've actually played and I've kind of enjoyed the counter system because it's interesting. It's also um, pretty intuitive, although I have had struggles uh, with the window as I always do with parry systems. But the way the parry system in this game works and it'll feel familiar to you is you'll see that line on their health bar. Um, that means that if I get their health to below that line, then when I parry them, then I'll absorb them and basically instantly kill them. That's kind of it. Um, you can parry bosses, which, you know, is, is par for the course for these kind of games for, for uh, a Souls-like. And, um, yeah, you're just, like, highly encouraged to uh, parry things. Not just because it instantly kills them, but there's also a kind of an interesting collection thing going on where uh, when you encounter an enemy... I'm going to try and get this. Yeah, this is this is an enemy that you really struggle with the timing. They have a slight delay. Yeah, I can't. I basically can't do it. And I, I find it frustrating to even try, to be honest. Can I do this? No, I can't. There we go. Um, when you encounter a new enemy, uh, you have if you can absorb them because it's you know it's pretty tricky to get the parry off especially when you're encountering a new enemy type um it'll 
tell you that if you do it a certain um, number of times, you'll uh, basically unlock their... They, they all have their own kind of unique item and equipment that you can um, unlock. I've already done it for this enemy, which thank God, because I don't want to have to do it anymore. But um, yeah, every enemy kind of has a, a talent of sorts that if you absorb them, and sometimes it's only once, and then sometimes it's like seven times you have to absorb their attacks, uh, you'll unlock their talent, and then you can spend talent points to uh, get an extra benefit. Talent points are unlocked by defeating, like, extra difficult enemies. I think there's one over here, although they... Yeah, I already killed them, and they don't... They don't come back. We'll get this. This is basically an Estus Flask. You have a... You have a sort of an Estus Flask. Your Estus Flask is only, like... You, you you get it once, you get one freebie. And the, after that, you have to kind of earn it back by slowly absorbing enemies. So uh, it's a really good idea not to waste it. Not sure where I'm supposed to go. And I'm struggling. Oh, there we go. There's the map button. Okay, we're trying to go down. Okay, I want to get to that platform on the right there so we're gonna go up here and then use my dash and there we go you can grab on ledges i probably yeah and i have this other ability which i earned by killing a boss that lets me kind of like pull on platforms there's some tricky stuff in this game it gets quite challenging i'm you know maybe someone would disagree with me Oop. But it, um, some of the platforming can get quite tricky. I don't know if I can just, like, make that jump. Nope. All right. I'm going to move on. Oop. The, this electrocution hazard is a real pain in the butt. Oh, yeah, and there's an enemy here that can attack me from anywhere until I kill it. And it's a real problem. There we go. Absorb him. Can I get up here? Yeah, there he is. That dude's attacking me from past there, and I need to go kill him. The good news, though, is if I can kill him, I'll get a talent point. Because he's a, a rather difficult enemy. There's, um... If I can go down here, there's these little pink lights, and they're guiding me towards a map. And you might have noticed that there's no map here currently. So I need to, um... I need to get that. Yeah, come on. I mean, yeah, I'm using these uh, this fist weapon. Ow. Which I just kind of unlocked and got the stats for. And there is quite a there's there's stats in this game. I don't. I'm sure if I can show you. Uh, it doesn't look like it. I guess next time I find a um, a checkpoint. But yeah, it, it it feels very Dark Souls in nature. Oh, apparently I died here. Not sure what killed me. But I, I, I sense we are quite close. Yeah, um, so when you die, uh, a couple of things happen. You don't drop your souls. I'm just going to use Dark Souls ter terminology. How come we can't get... Can we just... We can't zip through there, right? No, we can't. That costs us some health. Okay, so we can't do that yet. Down there looks like hazard, and it would only be bad for us. So we'll continue on our way this way. Oh, is that a checkpoint? Oh, perfect. I'll uh, show off some of the stats. Yeah, the way you level up and the way you kind of progress your character, you can... Do so in a, uh, a variety of different ways. Um, you'll have, you know, your your strength, dexterity, and resonance are basically your weapon stat stats. That's uh, going to improve how much damage and, and how well your weapons work. Um, resonance has an extra effect in that it works with certain talents, I've noticed. Um, there'll be, like, certain talents that like resonance. Let me see if I can find the one. Um... Mm, no. 
<laughs> it's fine. Um, do we have enough to upgrade? No, we don't. So this is just a checkpoint for now. Uh, you also have armor. Armor has an extra interesting effect in that it will affect your stats. So uh, like this one is going to give us a slightly higher scaling for strength um, and for health, but this one will give us like higher resonance and higher dexterity. Um, it's not super clear like how that effect manifests, but one interesting thing is if you equip a full set of armor, it will uh, give you an extra like effect specifically to talents. This one I'm wearing right here, the boulder head armor set um, gives me plus 25% to boulder head. And what does boulder head do? Well, boulder head is reduced 25% of incoming damage after failing to ab absorb an attack. So I like that one because I like to plan to fail, you know, gold head, that rumbling from high up above. The world pillars, the lift is functional once more. This can only mean one thing. The mothers of Lithic are gone. Those are the last boss I just killed uh, to get the pulling effect. Hmm, and just as the caravan, Carvin have been running out of bricks. Level lamb suits you and giver. You have descended from the world pillar on a quest from Shidra. Then, strange that they would be willing to deal with you when they refused the coda. Still here, I have nothing more to say to you. We both know how this will inevitably end. I wish for only one final thing before that happens. So Shidra is the one who will upgrade my equipment and also the one that put me on the quest to kill a beast. So yes, I, I am on that quest. Now I would like to unlock the, um, the, the map. I'm really kind of struggling to do that. And apparently the only way to do that is through here which doesn't seem right because that thing is not stopping. Generally, those uh, little lightning bolts will stop. There is an extra thing here, though. I'm wondering where this will take me. Oh, interesting. Where is that going? Yo, where are you going, bud? Oh, I didn't realize there was something. That... Uh, sometimes you got to leap before you look. So pick up. There's a lot of pickups in this game that I don't really use a lot of. I tried once when I was struggling with a boss and then I died and then those are just gone. Oh, free bow daggers. I kind of wouldn't mind trying those. Um, oh, these are... The requirements are a much higher dexterity. I am kind of trying to build into dexterity. So I'm cool with that. So I'll, uh, I'll upgrade my dexterity a little bit to try the bow daggers. Maybe we can make that happen before the end of the, uh, of this video. Not sure. I don't think I can make that jump. No. Sometimes it's worth trying. Okay, so I can't go this way. This is, uh, the kind of Metroid... You know, typical Metroidvania, you got to do some backtracking sometimes. Is there anything here? Nope. Don't think so. So I might come back there as well with some new abilities later. You definitely get some new abilities. Okay, how am I getting back up, actually? Is there something I'm not... Wonder if I have to pull it up from down. Oh, I've never done that before. That's an interesting mechanic. Huh. Okay. Oh, that uh, that thing is no longer lightning bolting. Cool. So we we now have the map beacon. So this uh, this gives us a map for the area now. There we go. We can also continue on our way over here. These leaves are really disturbing grass as well motley pearls are good for re um kind of resetting our build what is this this is a boss hello okay Whoa. that was some nasty damage just kind of right away uh, i'm gonna heal that's our estus flask
All right. Trying to, I'm trying to parry them, but it looks like they are uh, not really. Oh, okay. That's something I can parry for sure. So if they throw stones, um, that is something I can I can parry back at them. Let's see if I'll do it again. I'm not doing any damage to this or very much damage to this guy. Okay, that was like feeble damage as well. Okay, I'm doing an okay job of avoiding their attacks. You gotta be really careful of your endurance because if you run out, you'll be basically sitting a sitting duck. Oh, whoops. Okay, sometimes you get you just gotta back off. Uh oh. Okay, maybe yeah. Uh, if I kill this thing, that's how I'm gonna do the majority of my damage. Okay. Um, this is working out so far. I wish I hadn't taken some of the damage I had. And you know how these things go is generally they're going to they're going to throw another curveball at me. Oh yeah, there it is. Oh no. Oh, I hate it. Oh god, how am I going to contend with this? It's a real gargoyle situation. Gotta watch my endurance. Wonder, actually, uh, I might have some uh, items that could help. Let me see here. When broken and scattered is held up by the... Reduce incoming damage by 15%. That's not really helpful. Crush to gain half a bar of breath. Um, that's not really that helpful. That's, uh, the, basically our Estus flask. Invigorate the vessel. Increase force regeneration by 25%. Yeah, we could try that. But that's, um, I wish I had something like, uh, in Dark Souls 2 that gave us... Yeah, we're gonna die now for sure. Because I pause it like a really inopportune moment. I'll crush this and, you know, see if we can't do something with it. Uh, I'm dead. Not a lot of uh, warning on that attack. Okay, come on. Come on. There we go. Gee whiz. I will say that uh, that was a pretty tedious boss. That is the most tedious boss I've fought so far in this game. And I don't mean tedious in that it was like difficult. I mean like tedious it was difficult and not very interesting uh the first couple of bosses i fought in this game were actually pretty cool hold down circle to continue from dash into a sprint oh, that's kind of cool oh and it lets us break through those kind of walls maybe i wonder if there's uh well you can't jump you can't jump out of it. So that's a little bit weird. So I don't know uh, how circumstantial this move is going to be. Can I? No, I can't squeak through there. Okay, so that was the flower heart destroyed. Where else do I have to go? It says I, that there's things I can do down here, but I don't know what. Oh, yeah, right. I can't do this yet. Um, even with this new ability, I don't think that, that it's actually going to be doable. Well, that's okay. We got a new ability and it's pretty cool. Um, let's, uh, level up a couple of times. I'm going to put some points into dexterity. So I will say I, the game's not perfect. Um, it's, it's got some quirks, it's got some problems, but I like it overall. Let's, yeah, let's start buffing dexterity. Um, there's things I like about it. A lot of the things I like about it, I, I have to admit, work, I feel kind of just ripped off of, uh, Dark Souls, but I don't mind that. 
I don't mind uh, things taking, you know, I know everything's Dark Souls these days. I'm not oblivious to that fact. Well, this is interesting. Can I even... No, I can't. So I have to stand here, pull that, and then... Yeah, okay, that's interesting. These guys um, do like a little jolt that you have to uh, pull them. I, I did, you, you might have noticed, um, I, I did notice that uh, the uh, the flower boss, um, the dude was making a, a jump and I was able to pull him out of that jump and that was definitely a key to killing him. It's always a pain when uh, I managed to parry the guy, but he's just, just on the fringe. Ah, uh, that was a complete waste. I could have healed myself. There's something up here. A lot of secrets in this game. There's a lot of secrets. Oh, this is a this is a big time secret actually. Uh, I'm gonna have to go and find that guy. They kind of uh, those guys kind of feel really reminiscent to me of the uh, kind of um, crystal lizards. You have to chase them down. Oh no, something new. You can parry projectiles. Hold on. But uh, when things glow yellow, that seems to be the cue to um, pull them. I don't think I can, like, get anything from that enemy. Ooh, this guy was hiding. There's no, um, s like, signs on the ground, so nothing to tell you that something's going to ambush you. All right, let's uh, heal up. Um, one thing I haven't really mentioned yet, and it's kind of a major mechanic, like the game really hammers it home how important it is, is something called Ardor or Ardor. I don't know how to pronounce it necessarily, but it's that number in the top left corner. Um, basically, this is like a rating of like how well you're doing. It's uh, you, you get a little bit of it every time you kill an enemy. Uh, you lose a little bit of it whenever you um, take damage and um you lose a lot of bit like all of it when you uh die and it's the thing that you basically reclaim when when you um when you're like getting back to your soul sign uh, essentially hold on it's is your ardor it's it's your quotation marks you know important aspect oh this is gonna be a pain oh god i forgot that he did that swipe backwards Gosh dang. And we have a dude. This is the second time I fought this dude, and he's a pain in the butt, but he's not too bad. Like his uh his animations are are pretty forgiving. Oh, except that one. Well no, it, it is forgiving. I'm just being very bad. But now I have to contend with the dude upstairs. Let me see if I oh. Let me see if I can absorb him. There we go. Boom. We get a hunt point. That's for uh, spending on talents. I'm hoping I can deal with that guy upstairs as well. Ah, damn. He managed to catch me. I want to grab this. Yeah, so um, what does Ardor do, basically? It um, it kind of dictates how much how much souls you get. From, oh god, I'm doing horribly on this one little dude. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. That combination was so rough. That combination... I, those dudes are really annoying in the first place. Oh god. Now I have to go... Oh, that's actually not that far. And I can sprint, except the sprint is actually kind of feeble. Because, like, any bump in the road stops it from happening. Wait, where am I going? I thought it was there. Oh, I see. No, it is actually very far away. I was actually very close to the next checkpoint and then I died. That's that's rough. Yeah, the sprint uh, kind of sucks. I won't lie. I'm not a huge fan. Because it, it, you can't jump in it. And you also can't... Like fall off of anything and you also can't jump uh, i already said that but i'm not a huge fan of that sprint i like uh, most of the abilities in this game i actually quite like the combat as well 
um, tedious bosses uh, excluded, but you know, it's it, the combat is actually quite fun. I do like the parry system, which is a huge like that. That's a huge compliment. I hate parry systems. I have to say, I'm really not good at parrying, and I I just kind of don't like how reliant every game is on them nowadays. Hold on, this guy's a problem. There we go. He doesn't have an ability I can parry, so uh, he doesn't get absorbed, therefore he doesn't let have talents. That guy dies. The nice thing about the, the tough enemies that give you talents is when they're dead, they're dead. They don't come back. So I appreciate that. All right, um, did I come this way? That thing upstairs, uh, up there is, uh, on the ceiling is a nice little kind of forgiving boon. I suppose I could go back for it if I take too much damage here on this annoying little scuffle. Uh, also your soul sign. I, I didn't really have a chance to mention. Ouch. Is, uh, it's not just your ardor. I haven't even explained what Ardor. Yeah, that dictates how many souls you you have, but also there's certain mechanics. Ouch. There's certain mechanics like uh, you know weapons and stuff that uh, and talents that benefit from how much Ardor you have. I think I have one equipped right now that lets me do more damage based on my uh, how how high my Ardor. It goes up to a hundred. Um, so it's something you want to maintain. Obviously dying is is you know not great. You don't get all of it back when you uh get back to your soul sign. So you're you're gonna lose some no matter what. Oh I my endurance. My endurance is not doing so well. Oh, I was trying to yeah, there we go. There we go. Perfect. That was good. Yeah, so the fact that I actually kind of like the parry system in this game, the fact that it's it's kind of, you know, it's forgiving, um, I appreciate a lot. I don't know where we're going here. Have we walked past something? No. I guess that sign on the map, Feaster's Lair. Okay, this is where I have to be. Is this an enemy? No. Huh? Carvin, what do you want? It's mine, my gift for Shidra. Stay away, you dusty sibling thief. Find your own offering. Your kind thinks it's better just because you, you've you made yourselves longer limbs. Bah, what is your new form worth when it is made from the broken bodies of my siblings? And mothers, poor mothers. Bah. Out of my way, Shidra of the World Pillar will help right your wrong after I give them this valuable material. They will grant me a powerful device made out of your body, and I will dance on the broken pieces of your kind. Haha. Yeah. <laughs> out of my way. Uh, you're cruising for a bruising, dude. Goodbye. Oh, Motley Pearl? It was just a Motley Pearl? My dude. That is not that valuable. Thank God. Checkpoint. All right, can we level up at all? I kind of want to keep putting points in de dexterity for now. I can uh, level up once. What did I need for that new weapon? Let's see here. Oh, I can equip them now, the bow daggers. Kind of sucks losing those fists because I actually upgraded them. I wonder if I can recover the loss in uh, stuff. Let's see these. And then what's the special attack? I don't know what that does. Doesn't really seem to do anything. What does that do? Why, there you are. Being so far from the pillar, Shidra said I am to make my services available to you, should you need them. Please, uh, hurry up and slay the feaster. I do not like this place. Its inhabitants are far too influenced by the other, their bodies shaped in horrifyingly nonsensical ways. 
Some don't even have fingers or arms. Some are all legs. Legs not even shaped like legs. More legs, long bloated nails. More like like long bloated nails. Wow. Anyway, I will stick around as long as I can, but please do hurry. Okay, so what do these what do these bow daggers do? Uh, quick press launches a long range dart holding the attack loads all darts to be unleashed rapidly So this one wants me to have darts equipped Oh, I see every three successful hits gain a stack of fleeting dart darts crumble over time so as I uh, make attacks with it I gain projectiles which I can then fire off interesting we could give it a go oh good teeth platforms ow oh these guys suck okay so we see lurker on the left one out of six yes so uh i have to absorb six more or five more of these guys and then i get a cool talent Talents can be really cool. They can be kind of game-changing. Um, I took a lot of damage there. What in the world is this? We got teeth mechanics. Ow. Well, kind of saw that coming, honestly. How am I supposed to do this? That thing will just destroy me. Hmm, I can't kill it. I don't know why I did it a third time. It really didn't benefit me at all. All right, well, I mean, I guess I'll do this in my own time. I wanted to show this game off. Um, I think it's good, and I think it deserves uh, your attention. If you're into Metroidvanias, if you're into uh, Soulsly, Soulsy kind of games, uh, I'm just going to go get my ardor back. And, oh yeah, these guys again. Well, um, we can... Oh, they, they're, they're teeth as well. This place is obsessed with teeth. Feaster's Den, I guess. Oh, God. The fact that there's two of them. Let's get the... Let's get it. Yeah, there we go. All right. Two more to my my uh coven all right let's get that back that's 19 of our ardor back and then i guess i'll go and explore uh something else yeah if you're into souls like games if you're into metroidvania type games i think that these uh this will fit nicely into your library and um it's it's good it is a little frustrating but i think that um you're you're bound to know what to expect you know uh it, it's it's a challenging game but um, it's it's compelling. There's a lot of a lot of nooks and crannies to uncover. The story's kind of interesting. Um, I really kind of don't know what my character's motivation is, but they kind of make it very immediately obvious that he has one. And maybe even he doesn't really know what it is. So that's kind of interesting. Um, so yeah, there's there's things going on, and I'm I'm looking forward to finding out more myself on my off time. But uh, I wanted. I wanted to give it give it uh, some screen time. Ooh, a new lad. Oh, this is interesting. His health bar has kind of two things going on. Okay, can I Oh, I absorbed the first half and then I have to break through the second half. Ow. God, this guy sucks. Okay, can we absorb him? Oh god, I'm bad. Oh god! There we go. Hunt point gained. I have to I have to start spending those. Probably would make a big difference. I like this guy just stuck in the ceiling. <laughs> Alright, uh, any, anyway. Uh, if you did enjoy this, definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.